Uh, can, you, can you start over? Sure. So, what's your name? I am William McCusker. Uh, I work at Own Your Info. And uh, Own Your Info is a personal data store that uh, we're trying to allow people to have a safe way to have an aggregate place online to store their personal data. So it's not one vertical at the moment. We're trying to approach it from a kind of consolidated uh, place to store your personal information. So maybe one day we'll, we'll approach verticals one at a time, but for now we're kind of in the learning phase and seeing you know, what works. But the internet uh, works for us. I'll give you a demo on how someone might use internet. So here is what you see when you log in. It's kind of an iconic um, interface. Uh, and here are the seven categories that we allow people to store information in right now. Um, personal, health, finance, career. We also have a document management system uh, that people can store their documents in. So are all of these documents in one of those categories? Yes. Uh, I, I mean, you can create your own category as well if you'd like. But, uh, you know, the premise is kind of to isolate this data set to what, what people use on a routine basis. I mean, we're not trying to do everything. We're trying to do things that, from what we've researched, people share and access often. So, you know, an example use case might be someone, like, recently I rented a place on Airbnb, and um, this the woman that I was renting from needed my license, an image of my license, right? So if I were to do that right now, go to my documents, go to my license, um, you, can, you can see my sharing history. And uh, one thing that's interesting is uh, we monitor the views and the downloads. So the minute someone views a document from on your info, uh, the sender gets a notification that that document's been viewed, and the same thing happens for a download. And so let me give you, show you an example of sharing with Own Your Info. Um, so I'll share, I'll share to myself. Um, so the primary identity model is email address? Right now it's email address. Um, we're, we're, you know, we're, we're open. No, it's a fine start. Just it's a fine yeah. start. Um, and I think one, one thing that uh, sets us apart from some of the other personal data stores is our focus on kind of a license agreement that goes along with the data. So when you send, uh, when I send this driver's license to this you know, random Airbnb person, for her to view that information, she has to effectively uh, check a terms of service box for that information. So I'm going to say, okay, you can only have access to this for one month. So the link that she gets in her email, when she clicks on it a month from now, you know, it'll be an expired link. Um, also, I'm going to say you're only allowed to download print or, or print this information or not. So that's kind of an access permissions feature that we, en we enable users to have. And then finally, we have kind of an additional certain term section. So I, I might put for Airbnb purposes... Okay. And um, and then again the email notifications. The minute she opens it, I get an email. So I click share. It's now in my shared journal. Here, you can see that she has obviously saved or viewed it. You can see the date it expires on. You can see that her permissions are read only because I didn't allow downloading and printing. And then the moment she opens the email inbox and does all that, agrees to the license agreement, she can view my document under my terms and her, you know, she acknowledges my ownership of my driver's business. So that, I mean, that's the gist of it. I can show you it on the recipient end, but I think we'll leave it at that um, and let you ask some questions so we can learn something. So are any of the uh, pieces of data formally structured? Do you have any schema underneath health or career or finances? Uh, he can maybe answer that a little bit better. I mean, I was just showing how a document was. Sure. Um, we do have the option to share something in a little bit more of a sophisticated manner. Like, uh, say you wanted to share, you had like a rental application, 
and you wanted to share uh, different templates together. I think personal calls them gems. Um, we have this kind of granular control, so I might want to. I might need to add my my checking account information. Uh, I might I'll go to my property. I might add a my previous two addresses, my current address. You know, I might add a housing reference or two, and then I can go on title that information. Click next. Okay, so you just created a document. I just created. I just created a bunch of data that was already in here. Correct. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, so if you spent the time to populate your your PDS, then anytime you have uh, kind of the routine task of sharing that information, you're able to combine it in, in a very, very structured way that allows you to save time, right. be secure. But it was also very fluid, I mean, that was fast. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That was nice. Thanks. <laughs> it, that, we spent a lot of time on that. And uh, now we don't have the watermark, but there's a, we do have a watermark you can add. Um, and the same deal, you just press share securely, and set of sharing options that I showed you for sharing a document. William, how many different um, sources of data do you have that people can pull in data from? Um, right now the only place that we're allowed, we allow to import data from is uh, was from Google Health and their displaced users. Okay. Um, we have some plans for bringing in data from other sources, but right now that, that's it. Um, okay. And uh, what kinds of destinations do you have that people can send their data to? Right now, it's just a uh, person to person. So you're, I guess, I guess your trusted contacts. We uh, 